Hi, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. We sell dental practices. And we've been doing this for 13 years, and I was a dentist for 25. So, today's topic is, what is the term cash back at closing in a dental deal. Does that ever occur? Let's talk about that. We have a special circumstance today. We try to give you information that's hot, that's breaking, and I just came out of a negotiation with it minutes ago. So, some information about us. We're now in 28 states. We have 10 employees, including two CPA accountants, and we are here to serve you. We're available for you from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. every single day except Christmas and Easter. If you need us, we're on it. It doesn't matter where we are. The phones are answered. Emails are responded to. We've taken uh, emails and phones from the uh, from a cruise ship in the South Pacific. So if you need us, we're on it and we'll take care of you. Um, our phone number is 201-663-0935. And our uh, website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. So give us a call. We have plenty of information for you. We'll take care of it. All right. Now, if you are, all this information I'm giving you obviously is uh, for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. So, if you need uh, extra information about these processes of selling and buying dental office, just call us. We'll give you a free consultation. Okay. Also, if you want to sell to a DSO, give us a ring because we sell to them all the time and they will often pay our commission and there'll be no commission to you as a seller. If you work with us, many times we're also able to get your legal fees based on criteria, certain criteria, legal fees paid back at closing. So we can help you with that. Just give us a ring and we'll, we'll, we'll get on top of that for you. But there'll be legal fees reimbursed, and we've done that several times. Um, So let's talk about this cash back concept. It is rarely done in dentistry. It needs the approval of the attorneys. It needs the approval of the bank. But essentially, the seller is giving cash back that the buyer could use, whether it's you know for working capital, for rent, whatever. In one circumstance, the. the buyer needed extra working capital beyond what what the bank was giving them. It's an example, we've changed some of the information, but the buyer had to have that working capital. The bank was limiting the amount that they were gonna give. So we, um, um, are working on a situation now where it's going to be a cash back for the buyer at closing and I think it's gonna work out quite well from what I can see. It's rarely done, but in this circumstance, the buyer needed some extra working capital. Wasn't available from the bank, so the seller will provide those extra funding for him. So that now, uh, upon successful closing, the the buyer is gonna get these uh, monies coming back to them. And I think, under the circumstance, it should really work out well. This is a unique situation worked out. Um, I thought it was a great idea. The attorneys thought it was a great idea. They're going to clear it with the bank. And uh, I believe uh, all parties will be happy. You know, we had a buyer that was just about to walk away because if they didn't have that, how much of money were we talking about? Eh, it could be 20000 30000 uh, that could be just enough to get the buyer over the edge. Uh, and the buyer was worried about it. 
bank wasn't being helpful, and I had to do something. Oh, goodness. The bank was not being helpful, so uh, we uh, we thought it'd be a great idea to jump in there and, and help the buyer out and put the deal together. The buyer said they can't get X number of dollars. They're afraid they're going to walk away because he just was so afraid not having the funding to go forward. And it rarely happens, this whole concept of uh, cash back. Again, attorney approval, bank approval, but uh, it looks pretty good. I think all parties are going to be really helpful, helpful uh, in getting this deal done. Uh, excuse me one second. Uh, let's have a uh, $35 regular. Thank you, my friend. Um, well, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can put this deal together and it, uh, we go forward on it. So what will happen in closing is that the, um, the attorneys will work it out so that in some method, somehow, um, it, will come, it will come back to them. It will come back to the buyer. And I think it should work out just great. So that's just one technique that has not been used before. I was never exposed to it after 13 years. I thought it was a great idea. Everybody's happy. Um, could the buyer have gotten by without that money? Possibly. But I think it was an emotional thing. The buyer felt that they really could use it and they would give them comfort and they were going to walk away. This deal was like, a, you know, between half a million and a uh, million dollars. And the buyer wanted it. So we complied. Buyer's happy now. Seller's happy. Buyer's happy. So we'll go to closing and uh, we're putting the deal together. Would it, be, uh, would it be worth it for the buyer to walk away? I think they'd be foolish to walk away. Would they have if you said no? I don't know. But it certainly sounded that way. So we'll try to work with them and put something together. So please keep listening. Now, on uh, the next, we have some great new videos coming. So hit the subscribe button so you're alerted. Secondly, every four to six weeks, we have the new practices coming out for sale. Now's the time to buy. Interest rates are somewhat reasonable at five, five and a half, six. Uh, they used to be 2.8, but interest rates are probably going to continue for many years, no matter what anybody tells you. They're going up. So uh, now's the time to buy, no question about it. Sign our non-disclosure agreement and you'll get the list of all practices for sale. Thank you for listening. Summertime's coming up and I am excited. Bike riding, swimming, I'm ready. Thank you, bye.